suck my dick. Guys, we have Beth and Serenity. Anyway, video, 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 video. Oh yeah. Hey guys. Dave. Yeah, sucked my tits last night. It was fucking great. Great, cool. I'm getting out of comments, I'll stop. Why did I think this was a good idea? Why did I think this was a good idea? Yeah. Hello everyone, that was an intro and a half. How do I intro this clip? I don't know. Today we're talking about how you can get sectioned. And don't click away because I'm not being real. Literally muting the laptop. Can't hear them now, they don't exist. <laughs> What I don't see won't hurt me. I can still see them in the camera screen. <laughs> How to get section 101 with Lydia. Bang. Right, hello everyone. I, I give up. I'm not introing it. Why not? Today we're talking about how to get sectioned. Now this video has been really highly requested. I constantly get messages saying, how did you get sectioned? How did you do this? Is it possible to get sectioned by doing this? And it, it, it's annoying to be honest. Stop. Please. Emotional appeal. Please stop. <laughs> this is actually a rant video telling you guys to stop messaging me that. But hey, here's tips on how you cannot get section. <laughs> yeah, the title's clickbait, in case you didn't gather. If you didn't gather, what the fuck's wrong with you? One, who in their right mind wants to get sectioned? I'm, actually, that's a real question. Yes. Who in their right mind wants to get sectioned? Fucking nobody as hell. Everybody knows only cool kids smoke. <laughs> They're getting muted again. I need to be able to talk and I can't because Serenity's playing guitar. You don't want to get sectioned and if you do, you don't. Trust me, watch some of my videos. Like being sectioned isn't something you want to do. No one wants it. You don't want to get locked in a fucking ward with no rights and Beth's dancing in the background. I d <laughs> Can I quit? <laughs> Is quitting an option? As someone who has been sectioned under mental health but a lot of times, a lot of times, especially this year, you don't want it. Like, why would you want to be locked in a hospital with no rights? Why? Why would, wh why? Boom, it's not gonna work. And, and to anyone who messages me saying, oh, hey, how come you got sectioned in that? If you wanna know, go back on my channel. There's, there's, there's over 300 videos you can choose from. There's, there's a lot. I'm not going to give you advice on how you can get yourself locked in a war. Hospitals are used as a last resort. You get in your face time. Oh, I've never had some videos. Okay, right. If you smoke, when you go into like some wars, like, I'm not sure about adult wars, but like on like children's wars and shit like that, like you can't smoke. Like, like say if you like smoke like 25 a day or something, like you literally, when you go there, you cannot smoke at all. Right. And it's absolute hell. On the adult ward I was on I'm last in Preston, if you had leave, you yeah. could smoke, but if you don't have leave, you can't. Cause it's like a second floor yeah, you, like, fucking building and there's no windows or anything and it's shit. And also, if you get caught smoking on hospital ground, like if you're sneaking a fag, like you can get them for like criminal something. Like you can get fined for it. Like they're just, you don't want it. Like I get why some people kind of like feel like it's needed and whatever, but a lot of the time people try and, uh, if people like, when you're in hospital, it's there as a last resort. You only go in when it, they don't know what else to do with you. So you get left in the community as long as they can. As long as they can manage you in the community, you're going to be in the community, regardless of what you say or do. Hospitals are not somewhere you want to be because, you know, being section takes away your basic human rights. You can't leave. You don't have freedom. You have to follow a set schedule you have set things you're supposed to do a day you have to take your meds if you don't take your meds they can force you they can literally force you to do anything and you can't say no like they could say oh well you need to have your meds now and you have to or you have to do this now and you can't say no because they can make you you have no rights because you're deemed to not have the mental capacity to make that decision but like it's horrible you don't want it i'm actually giving decent advice for once and it's weird so we still have beth and serenity they're just muted at the moment we came up with some ideas of things we could say because one, we want this video to be educational too, we kind of... I didn't have any pre-ideas. First thing I want to say, some staff on the wards can be horrible and as reference to this, check out the last video that I did talking about psych wards and what the hell is Beth doing? So some of the staff are horrible and there's literally nothing you can do about it and if you try and do something about it, they can just restrain you and they... Unfortunately, it's very common for people to get wrongfully restrained and believe me, it hurt. I had my head smashed off a floor. Again, reference to my last video I did when I did I, when I talked about psych ward. I'll leave it here and down there. Make sure you check it out because this bitch needs watch time, okay? You have no rights. You actually have less rights when you are detained under a section than you would if you was under arrest. You have no alone time because staff will go in your room and check. Staff will just check on you. Staff will be there constantly looking over your shoulder and making sure you're okay, which is their job. That's in the job description, but you don't have a break from it. And sometimes it can be a bit of a vicious circle. Like you'll go in really bad 
bad, but then something will make you worse, and then you can't get released because you're getting worse. It ends up in a vicious spiral. And for that idea, we can thank Beth, because Beth gave me that idea. On some wards, there are some things you're not allowed, like some wards won't even let you have your phone. Again, reference to my last admission, I wasn't allowed my phone or anything. You're not allowed pens, you're not allowed to have wires, you're not allowed sprays, because I've just learned this today as well, courtesy of Beth. They're actually toxic, you could, like, that you could inhale them. Apparently, you're not allowed them on wards. I didn't know that until today. But well, hey, yeah. You get, if it's not, like, a enclosed, like, area to go outside, you don't get to go outside unless you get given leave by the lead consultant. It sucks, because the entire time I was in hospital, every admission this year, I've had no outdoor time at all. I got given no leave, so no fresh air for me which made me very unhappy and made me try and break out of a ward. But that's a whole other story and I'll make, tell them stories soon. And another thing is, if you are prescribed medication, you have to have it. And if you refuse, they can make you have it. And you don't want that. You get woken up, you, you have to be up in the morning for meds and for therapy and all that crap. I'm not a nice person if you wake me up. So my overall advice is you don't want to be sectioned. And if it's something you want, talk to someone about it, please. Because you only want to be there if you have to be there. It is a last resort. You don't want to go looking to get sectioned. If you are looking to get sectioned, it's not right. Trust me, you don't want to be there. I think that's all I've got to say. Ad advice, Lydia. Let's, let's see if Beth's got anything she'd like to add. Do I have anything else to add to this? Anything you'd like to add? Um... No, so, so any, shush. Once, once you get on a section, you have no control over it. It's literally just the doctors. Like once you get on a section, you're like fucked, basically. That's it. Like you have no control. You literally you have less rights on a section than you have more rights when you get arrested. Literally. Like on a section, you also, ha you have a right to appeal. If, if you're on one to one, like they have to watch you shower and go to the toilet and everything. Like if you're on one to one, yeah. you get no privacy. Yeah, one to one, you have to be within arm's reach. I should know. Uh, last admission video link in the description. Shameless promo. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video now. Um, oh my yeah. So, thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I don't do rant videos all the time. I should probably do more rant videos because I have a lot to moan about. I really do. But, um, that has been it for this video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, I stole Serenity's outro. No, I don't give a fuck, even if Serenity is literally there and could tell me off for that. And it's now being loud. So, I'm mute, though. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you'd like more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you leave some questions, because I want to do a Q&A very soon, and if you haven't already... I'm a fucking book, because it's not going to be available much longer, because I'm releasing edition 2 at the end of the year, and I'm excited. Yay. Hyper. I actually slept last night. It's a great thing, and I think I'm done with my outro. Bye, guys!